Hi there, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jessica, and I'm super excited to take you through a 30 minute moving meditation. This session is brought to you by Athleta, and the class itself was inspired by the Elation Tights by Athleta, which I'm wearing here right now. I love how smooth and buttery the fabric texture is on my skin, and these leggings are really designed to move with your body and they really do. They hold you in like a warm hug without being too compressive, which makes them really perfect for a yoga practice like today. What you can expect from this class today is a gentle approach to some basic yoga postures with an emphasis on mindfulness. So we're gonna get started in our moving meditation in a seat here today. If you're comfortable in a cross leg seat, go ahead and find that, but any seat that's comfortable for you is absolutely perfect. And before we begin moving, we're just gonna take a minute or two to kind of check in with our body and connect with our breath and get our body and brain on the same page for the movement for the next half hour here. So find a comfortable seat sitting up nice and tall and we'll start to close the eyes here or soften the gaze. If you down here. Let's roll out the neck a little bit. Let's just make some little circles here. Maybe draw one ear down to one shoulder and then the other side. And then we're going to start by bringing the right hand down to the mat and just extend the fingertips down to the mat here. And then we're going to start to walk the fingertips over and maybe this opposite hip is going to want to float up. When you feel that happening, right before you feel that happening, plant the hand down, and we're gonna reach up and over with the opposite arm. So here I want you to think of keeping that left hip or knee um, pressed down into the ground, rooted down, and we're gonna press out with the right hand. 
So we're kind of creating some resistance here in the side body, reaching up and around. And then let's find a circle here. So finding some movement in the arm in one direction and the other. Very good. Come back to center, walk your hand back to center here and we'll find that same pose on the other side. So left hand starts to walk out here. Find that spot where you feel like the right hip or knee wants to start to lift up. Plant the hand down, press the ground away here, and we'll lift up and over. Gaze can come up or down. Staying connected to that breath and maybe find some movement here, spiraling the arms one way and then the other. And then inhale, let's float both hands up to center, reaching for the sky. Exhale, hands at heart center. So palms together, slide the hands down. Very good. Ooh, one last breath here. We're gonna transition to hands and knees from here. So I'll meet you in a tabletop position, taking your time. And from this position, we wanna make sure that our hips are stacked up over our knees and our shoulders are over the uh, wrists. So we have some space in the middle of the torso. Upper body is working, but not too much. Tops of the feet are planted down into the ground. And we're gonna come into a dynamic movement here. So we're coming into a modified um, plank pose. So we'll stay on the knees. And from there, we're gonna transition into an extended child's pose. So coming into this, we'll start with an inhale. Shifting the weight forward, maybe coming to the tops of the knees, engaging the core. And then on the exhale, we're gonna press the body all the way back, sending the hips back towards the heel, extending through the arms, palms hugging down into the earth. Inhale, shift that weight forward. Arms are strong, wrap the elbows back. Little plank action here. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, round through the spine, shift forward. Tapping into that inner strength, warming up the body a little bit. Exhale, hips back to the heels. Relax the forehead down. Moving at your own pace, we'll find two more. Keep that breath moving. If you find yourself holding your breath, you can always come to a child's pose and sit out the next pose if that feels right. You wanna make sure you're breathing and everything's working well. Inhale, shift forward. And exhale. Hips back towards the heels, forehead coming down. Let's take one more breath here. And we'll meet in tabletop position. So take your time coming back to center. Drop the head and the neck a little bit. And we're gonna find our very first downward facing dog here. So curl the toes under here, lifting the heels up, curl the toes under. We're going to press our weight into the hands again, kind of like that high plank, but then we're gonna come up onto the balls of the feet and send the weight back towards the heels. So on the inhale, shift the weight forward, curl the toes under, and we're gonna lift the knees up and shift that weight back towards the heels. Pressing the ground away and pressing everything back. Maybe you look back at your feet and align the heels behind the toes. Maybe you find some movement here. So bending one knee and then the other. Staying connected with that breath. Round breath. And I can inhale, bend through the knees, step the feet wide and out. And we're gonna find our way into a forward fold, nice and slow. From here, let's come all the way up to upward salute. Step the feet in together. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna come into a fold, bend through the knees. Head, chest come down. 
halfway lift on the inhale. So the spine is nice and long, shoulders move away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, so swoop the arms back. Ah, bend into the knees, lift all the way up here. And exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes here. And we'll take a step towards the front of the mat if you're not already there. Ah, and let's, let's just take a few moments here, tuning into that breath, feeling the body. So we've moved just a little bit, but we've woken up the legs, the spine a little bit, the side body, the arms. You should be feeling your uh, triceps and biceps here. So in all of that movement, even though it was minimal, you feel, you feel yourself warming up a little bit, opening up to the practice. Really close your eyes here and just tune in to the sensations in your body. What is the first thing that you feel? Do you feel your calves? Do you feel the triceps or the biceps? Just connecting with that sensation and recognize that as strength and power. Your body is amazing just the way it is right now. So just kind of like taking a moment to feel that to feel that truth, to make it your truth if you don't feel it yet. Ooh, breathing the, into that energy for just a moment. And then we'll drop our arms to our sides, blink the eyes open, and let's get into our standing sequence. So stepping a little bit closer towards the front of the mat, we're gonna step into a warrior two. So taking your time, right foot steps back, Nice big step back, and we want the knife edge of that back foot to be parallel with the short edge of the mat. That front knee is gonna bend. It doesn't have to bend a whole lot, just so that you can feel it in the thigh here. And we're gonna open the arms up to a T. So spreading the palms away from each other. Fingertips are active. Really sitting into that front thigh. Back knee is lifted. You are a strong, fierce warrior. Gaze comes over the middle finger in the front. Hmm. One more breath here. Exhale, hold it. And on the inhale, we're gonna lengthen through that front leg. Flip the palms up. Touch the hands at the top here. Legs are strong. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the palms out. Sit back into that warrior two. Let's find that sequence a few more times. So inhale, pressing in through that front heel, fingertips reach up. Exhale, finding your warrior two again, flipping the palms out. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, settling a little bit deeper into your warrior two. One more time. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, fierce warrior energy. Look over that middle finger. Ooh, hands come to the waist here, relaxing the arms a little bit. And we're gonna find this on the other side by pivoting to the opposite side of the mat. So front foot becomes the back foot, pivot on the heel, back foot becomes the front foot. Find your warrior two, bend into that knee, bring the arms out when you're ready. We'll take three breaths here. Really rooting down through that front foot. Back leg is strong. On the next inhale, we'll straighten through that front leg and reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. If you feel the muscles in your legs moving or quivering or dancing, that is perfect. You are amazing and your body is working on your behalf. We honor every sensation through this practice, even the ones that are difficult. One more here. Holding that warrior, that gaze comes out over the middle finger. Hands to the waist. Let's pivot the feet back to center. And we're gonna step in, shake out the legs a little bit here. 
closing the eyes, hands to heart center, taking a few breaths here, just kind of connecting again with the body, checking in, and taking a moment here just to notice if you have any intrusive thoughts coming through your mind here, taking a moment to kind of recognize them and choosing to disengage from those negative thoughts. Our power is not in what we can control, it's what we choose to breathe life into, what thoughts we choose to engage. And today we're focusing on loving the person we showed up as today, finding something that we're grateful for and really celebrating ourselves because today as we are, we're perfect. <laughs> we're exactly as we're meant to be in this very moment. And we're absolutely worthy of being honored and celebrated. Hmm. Dropping the hands here, blinking the eyes back open. We're gonna find that warrior two again. When you're ready, big step back with that right foot. Finding that warrior two again. So bringing the arms out, relaxing the shoulders down and really spreading the hands away from each other. Hmm. So taking a breath here. And on the exhale, we're gonna find extended side angle. So this front arm is gonna to come to rest in the top of the front thigh here. And we're gonna flip the back palm up and reach all the way up. And if you're feeling like a rock star, you can reach all the way forward. And we're using the core here. We're keeping everything kind of lifted out of the knee. It's there for support, but we're not leaning into it too much because we are amazingly strong and capable here. And how back to warrior two pressing through that front heel and exhale reverse warrior. So front palm flips up, back hand comes to back thigh, or you can just kind of bend the arm behind the low back. And we're reaching back. We're staying committed to the bend in the front knee. And we're finding warrior two again here. Yes, let's find that one more time. Inhale, extended side angle. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse. Back to warrior two here. And we're gonna find it on the other side. So again, hands to the waist. Switch perspectives here. Find that warrior two. Arms come open here. Gaze comes over the front middle finger. Drop the shoulders away from the face. Yeah, inhale, extended side angle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Front knee stays bended. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. You've got this, you can do it. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reaching up. And inhale, warrior two here. Holding this for just a few more breaths. Staying bent in that front knee. <sighs> Hands to the waist. Pivot the toes forward and we'll step to the front of the mat. One or two steps. Shake out the legs here, shake out the shoulders. Mm. Drop the head, close the eyes. We'll take another quick moment here. Hands at heart center. Checking in with the breath, checking in with the body. And noticing again how your thoughts are fluctuating. We talked earlier about your power really being in what you choose to breathe life into, which thoughts you engage. And that kind of goes across the board, not just with you know self-love and self-acceptance, but in regards to any thoughts that cross your mind. So if you're having a hard time staying focused here, if you notice that something is preoccupying your mind, uh, maybe it's something you have to do later on today or something that already happened, just pretend you're sitting in a park and you're looking at this blue sky and each one of these thoughts that comes through trying to grab your attention, trying to pull you away from the present moment is a bright balloon. 
And you can either try reaching for that balloon, maybe you'll grab it, maybe you won't. Or you can just watch it float away until it disappears. And we can think of our thoughts that way too, especially negative ones. We don't want to engage them. We can just notice that they come through our mind and that almost as quickly as they came through, they're gone. So that is my tip for you when practicing mindfulness. So take another breath, just kind of thinking about that thought for just a moment before we move on here. Release the hands down to your side if you haven't already. And we're gonna draw our arms up for upward salute. So bend through the knees, lift up here. Arms are active, fingertips are reaching for the sky. Exhale, fold, bend through the knees again. Hinging at the hips, draw the arms down. Maybe the hands come to the ground. Maybe they're on the shins or the knees. Drop the head down. Maybe roll it from side to side, taking a few more breaths here. Bringing your hands to the backs of the legs, wherever they reach naturally. And while staying in this fold, I just want to tune in to the sheer strength and the power of the body, the things that sometimes we take for granted. Just kind of gently squeeze the calves. Maybe grab the ankles or, you know, notice the hamstrings. You want to feel those muscles, how hard they're working, and find some awareness of how magical your body is, all of these things that it's doing for you to support you, to support your joy, to support your movement. Just finding little ways to recognize how amazing you are as you are today. Halfway lift on the next inhale. So pull that chest long, spine is long, gaze is down, crown is pointing straight ahead. Exhale, slide the hands down the legs. Plant the hands down onto the mat. We'll find down we're facing dog. So a little bend in the knees here. And then step one foot back and then the other. Shifting the weight back towards the heels. Drop that head down. And really you can find whatever movement feels good here. So if you want to lift one leg, and roll out the ankle, you can find that. If you want to be completely still or just come down onto the knees here, you can find that. Remember, there's no wrong way to practice your moving meditation as long as you are breathing. And from here, we're going to gently come onto our knees. So slowly make your way down. And we're going to come onto our back from here. So take your time coming onto your back. And we'll find bit knees here. So taking up the space that you need, allowing the shoulders to really relax down into the ground. Soles of the feet are firmly planted down about hip width distance apart. And we're gonna find just having windshield wiper leg here just to kind of stretch out the quads a little bit from the warrior series. So feet again, hip width distance apart, bring the arms out, palms of the hands down. Now we're just gonna drop the knees from one side to the other. And if you don't feel a whole lot in your quads here, as you drop your knees, think of drawing the heels a little bit closer to the body. Sometimes that creates just the right amount of tension. And we're just going to move through those at your own pace. Move with your breath here, or if you want to hold it for a few breaths, that's all good. Find what works for you here. And we come back into noticing the breath. Now that we've found ourselves back on the ground here, noticing the breath, noticing the body and take a moment to understand different ways that you can show up for yourself. Is there any way that you are avoiding things in your life or holding off on things 
because you're waiting for an ideal version of yourself to magically appear. And if that's the case, I think a lot of us can relate to that in one way or the other. If that's the case, think about one thing here that you can take away from this practice that's going to help you to show up for yourself and to really appreciate every version of yourself that shows up every single day. No matter what journey you're on, every version you wake up as is equally deserving of admiration, celebration. Whether you're in the beginning of your journey, end of it, in the middle of it, every day is worth celebrating.